Hey everybody, so by now, I know that you guys have probably seen this list that's circulating of places that a man should not take a woman on their first date. I got a lot to say about this, so I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it and just give you guys my thoughts and see if you agree or disagree. But I can tell you right now, a lot of my female followers on Instagram were also appalled at learning what was on this list. So I'm gonna dive right into it and I'll probably read some of their responses as well so you could see just what they thought about this list that was created by other women. First thing on the list, of places that a man should not take a woman on a first date is Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory. So this one, I think, became popular from another viral video that was on the internet where a lady went on a date with the man and he drove to the Cheesecake Factory and she refused to get out the car because she felt like she wasn't worth Cheesecake Factory. Like she deserved a better restaurant for her first date. Now, let me just establish this. Cheesecake Restaurant, yes, it's a franchise restaurant. Yes, it has multiple locations, all these different things. But one of the good things about Cheesecake Factory is that it has multiple types of cuisine. So if you like Asian, American, Mexican, any other different type of cuisine, you have multiple options. So it's a great way to start a first date with someone, especially if you don't know what type of food they like. Also, Cheesecake Factory is inexpensive, but it's not cheap. So you're gonna spend anywhere from $30 per plate. So that's your plate, the woman's plate. Then plus also include the fact that you buy drinks, you might order more appetizers, different things like that. You can easily spend $200 in Cheesecake Factory. Number two, Applebee's. Okay, on this one, I'll give women a pass because I'm not a big fan of Applebee's either. I feel like the quality of the food is very you know, subpar. But also, you have to understand your date's budget. Some men can afford more expensive restaurants. Some men cannot. Some men are using the last of their extra money on you to take you out to Applebee's or any other place that they decide to take you out to. So being ungrateful for a place like that is still, you know, it's wild. Number three, Chili's. Chili's is a great inexpensive date because you can go sit in a bar. It's not crazy busy. The food is actually pretty decent for the price. You'll spend 20, 30 bucks you know, per meal, similar to Cheesecake Factory, but it also has sports on TV. So if a woman is into sports like you or you know other things that you're interested in, it's a better place where you can talk, have a good conversation, build rapport, and the drinks are fairly good. So again, that's another place that you know allows you to break the ice and get to learn the person versus having to go somewhere where Oh, it's Instagrammable and you know, it looks so nice and the decor and the food is just such high quality. So you can run back and tell your girlfriends exactly what you ate and you know, text them throughout the dinner and things like that, which that's not the point of a date. I always thought that when you're dating someone, the purpose was to learn the person, especially if you're interested in the person not just oh where are you taking me this time oh you're taking me to cheesecake factory i don't want to go oh you're taking me to chili's i don't want to go places like that i don't understand what happened in dating culture now to where you can't go to a normal place to eat have some drinks have fun with your date and then you know as you see how you like each other going forward there's different things that you could do once you learn what the person likes and doesn't like number four chipotle i agree with that Chipotle, you know, it's $10, $12 per meal, things like that. That's more of a, uh, we don't have a lot of time. We just want to go grab something quick, 20, 30 minutes. You know, you could go eat at Chipotle and call it a day. But if you are planning a date, I don't recommend Chipotle's because that's not really a date place. The setting is just very casual. You got all kinds of people walking in there. It just doesn't have any date appeal to it. So a woman's probably not going to appreciate that one as much as if you take them to a restaurant. So I get it. That's more of a fast food type of chain. All right, number five, Olive Garden. Olive Garden is reasonable. It's okay Italian. It's a chain restaurant, which, you know, chain restaurants, hit or miss. Olive Garden is not one of my favorites. So myself, I probably wouldn't take a woman, but it's still reasonable. Plates are going to be anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks. You can buy drinks, you can have a good time. It's easy to have conversation and do things like that. One of the elements that is missing in a lot of this dating, um, first date, you know, debacle that we're seeing on the Instagram and Twitter and all these different, you know, social media, Facebook, all of that good stuff, is that when you're on a first date, the whole purpose is to learn the person. Now, 
depending upon how long you've been talking previous to going on this first date, you might have more information as to what the person likes, what the person doesn't like, what places you could take them to that they're gonna enjoy more than another place. But if the date is based on the price of the actual restaurant, that's starting off on the bad foot just right off rip. It just, it doesn't give me a good feeling about the woman, man, whoever it is that's, you know, going out on these dates that they're worried about what the price of the food is versus having a good time with the person that you're actually going on the date with. All right, so let me get to the next points because I can just dive in on every last one of these points and give you guys so much information as to what I think and why I think that way. And you know, you guys always can provide me your feedback and comments and let me know if you think the same as me or if you disagree. I would love to speak to another woman that uh, you know feels that there needs to be a price point as far as the dinner, the date. I would love to have you know a back and forth conversation about that. So at further at a later time and date, somebody hit me up and let's do that. All right, so let's get back to it. The movies. Okay, now I'm gonna give you guys this one, ladies. If a man only plans to take you to the movies, only the movies, no food, no bar, no anything extra but the movies, I can see you being a little disappointed with this because a movie date, you're not really gonna be talking during that time. You're not really gonna get to know each other. So I feel like a movie date is better left for when you know the person better than the first time you're meeting them. Because my goal is to get to know the person. I wanna be able to talk to you, I wanna know you know things about you that someone else may not know and just go through different you know, aspects of life, see how we like to laugh, what, what we enjoy, music in common, all of those types of things. So at the movies, you have to be quiet for two, two and a half hours. That's not really a good first date. Now, if you plan to do dinner and a movie, then that can be a complimentary piece to your date. So I, I can respect that. But still, first date, I probably wouldn't do movies because you're not gonna talk and get to know your, your date. Another option, your house. Okay, women, this one, I fully agree with you guys. You should never, and I repeat, never take a woman to your house for the first date. That does not set the right tone. It does not provide the right intentions. It doesn't allow a woman to feel like you are actually interested in them. That lets them think that, oh, you just want to smash, and that's basically it. I would never, never, never recommend to tell a man, hey, take a woman to your house. Even if you're cooking for her, even if you got some other common interest that maybe there's something you could do at your house, don't do it. It's not, it's not a good look because you're probably not going to get a second date if she even goes to your house. Or, one, you're just going to get blocked and no longer communicated with. I don't recommend it, guys. All right, fast food chains. Again, this is one I agree with. Chipotle, I would include in that. Burger King, McDonald's, Carl's Jr., uh, Wendy's, any fast food chain that you could think of. Do not take a woman there for your first date. One, there's no ambiance to the restaurant at all. Two, you're going to be eating the food in the car or are you going to go inside of their dining rooms and enjoy you know, the messy floors, kids running around, different things like that. Don't recommend it. Stop. Fast food, out. Just leave it out. Buffalo Wild Wings. So I'm in between on this one because Buffalo Wild Wings is a sports bar. So depending upon the woman that you're dealing with, does she enjoy sports? Is she into football, baseball, basketball, hockey, any sports that you're interested in? Is she interested in those same things? Because if so, then Buffalo Wild Wings could be a good option because you are able to have wings, sides, you can have beers, you can have you know hard liquor, whatever it is that you guys are interested in. Now, if she likes sports, there's a common ground. So Buffalo Wild Wings would be something that could be considered if she's into the same things you're into. Because then you have something that you could talk about as you eat, it's casual, it allows you guys not to have any pressure, and it makes it a good vibe and element. Wingstop. Again, Wingstop is similar to Chipotle and fast food restaurants. Definitely out, I wouldn't recommend taking a woman there for the first date. It's not, it's not a good look. It's no, no type of you know, setting to go sit in. You might as well just eat in the car. And eating in the car on the first date, out. Red Lobster. This is one of my biggest pain points here is Red Lobster because this restaurant, the food's actually pretty decent for being a chain. If you're into seafood, you have all kinds of options. Again, the date is not gonna be cheap because it's at Red Lobster. 
every time I go to Red Lobster, I spend more than $40 per plate by myself, plus whatever drinks you order. So if you order any alcohol, if you order appetizers, any of that stuff, this day could easily be anywhere from $120 to $200. Now, why does the price matter? It shouldn't. The main thing that should matter is did you enjoy the food? And the setting in Red Lobster is very dim and dark. So you have a, a kind of vibe that puts you guys in a mode to where you can enjoy conversation. It's usually not too loud in there. And they're usually in locations that aren't heavy, high traffic. So you actually have time to get to know your date and enjoy the time that you spend together. So I like Red Lobster. I was very offended to see Red Lobster on this list because the biscuits are fire. A buffet. I'm in between on this one because most buffets, again, is not really a date setting you have a lot of people that go there with their families you eat quite a bit of food and usually the quality of the food suffers based on the fact that it's being served to the masses so quality of food is one of the things that i'm always into i don't care what the restaurant costs and who's coming it just depends on having good food and also the time that we have allotted so if we have only an hour and a half two hours there's you know a reason why she's not going to be able to stay long Okay, then we go to somewhere that, you know, is going to be a faster turnaround. I have one of the chains I actually like when it comes to eating breakfast, especially if you're dealing with a busy woman that has either kids or works late in the afternoon or things like that. You might be inclined to do a breakfast date. Now, some restaurants stop serving breakfast at an earlier time than IHOP or Denny's. Both of these restaurants are something that you can meet up casually, have a first date, so that you get to know the person. Similar to a coffee date, you're able to meet them, have breakfast, you know, talk, go over different things that you guys like, um, see if there's mutual interest, things like that, and then you can lock in another date where you do dinner once, you know, schedules free up. All right, the gym. Okay, so this one is controversial for me because I love the gym. I go at least five to seven days a week and if the person already is interested in working out like I am, and that's a way to not make it high pressure for the woman to where we can meet at the gym or we can actually drive together to go to the gym, I can pick you up, go to the gym, you know, enjoy our workout, conversate, you know, it's, it's no pressure. Why would a woman not want to go to the gym unless you're just someone that doesn't enjoy working out, which I can see that being the case. Okay, that's fine. It's not a date that has to happen. But now to say that that can't be a date, I don't agree with that. And especially if you grab food before or after going to the gym, that's a date, you know, especially if it's someone that's interested in the same things as you. So that's a common interest that would make someone want to be able to hang out with you. And for a woman, especially if you're an overthinker or even a man that doesn't want the pressure of having to go to a high end date and feel like, you know, the world is just like on his shoulders trying to impress the woman or enjoy the time with the woman. Jim is a de-stressor. So it's naturally going to make you guys lower your barriers and enjoy your company. Now, like I said, I wouldn't do just the gym. I would have some type of food with the gym, whether it's before or after, to, you know, complement the date. Okay. Church. Look at my face. Church is something that is not allowed on the first date. Either one, the woman is not religious, or two, the woman's a heathen that wants to be in the streets. So um, I would be someone inclined to believe that, you know, a woman that does not want to go to church with you may or may not be the type of woman that you want to take a date on a date with you if it's a non-religious person then i get it i'm not going to force you to go to church or do anything like that but if we have a common interest in church whatever religion it may be that is an acceptable date again one thing i always want to include with any of the dates is we're going to get some type of food or drinks or both depending upon you know what what time we have how we've arranged this setup. All right, Starbucks. So I'm not a big coffee drinker, so it's not one of my first dates, but again, 
that is the type of date that you could take someone on that's low pressure. They don't feel stressed out. They don't feel like they have to get super dressed up, put on high heels, put on you know their expensive makeup, make sure their hair is perfect, all of those types of things. It's very casual. A woman could come in you know, a nice sweat outfit or even jeans and a shirt, and you could come in something casual, sweat outfit, you know, jeans, shirts, you know, different things like that. It's low pressure. It allows you to get to know the person. You guys can sit there and conversate for as long as you want. Hour, two hours, three hours, whatever it is. And you can also choose to extend the date and do another activity if you want to. Or if not, if time doesn't permit, then guess what? You guys just figured each other out, understood that there's gonna be a second date, and now you can go about the rest of your day text with each other, call each other, and line up the second date. Or even lock in the second date while you're there. And most women drink coffee. I don't know a lot of women that don't drink coffee at least once a day. Some of the women I know drink it three times a day. These three all kind of go together. Starbucks was the first. Coffee date, second. So that's pretty much the same thing. Three, ice cream dates. So this is number 19 on this list. And there's actually 28 items that they have listed here as the things that we're not supposed to take your own dates. Okay, so ice cream dates. Who doesn't love something sweet? Frozen yogurt, ice cream, whatever it is. Oftentimes people love something sweet. And this again allows you to have the barriers down. Enjoy each other's company and not have to be stressed out about what you wore to go grab ice cream. I see it as acceptable. I think most women will see it as acceptable. Let me know in the comments if you feel the same way about this because I, I think it's very acceptable. Family functions. All right, so I agree with you women on this. Family functions is a little bit too personal to take a woman to on the first date, especially because that's gonna put a lot of pressure on the woman to feel like they have to be liked by your family. And you don't wanna start off with that, especially when you're just getting to know someone that they have to meet your parents or your aunts or your uncles or your cousins or whoever. And also you can have embarrassing family members that do things that, you know, make this woman not wanna date you anymore. You wanna make sure that you have a solid foundation before you bring anybody to your family functions, unless you guys were already friends before this first date. So it was acceptable. She already kind of knows your family. She kind of knows your background or you already know her background, whatever it is. But family functions, don't recommend it, especially not a barbecue cookout, anything where people can sit there and grill your date and keep asking them questions and make them feel uncomfortable. Don't do it. Movie night, Netflix, Hulu, all of those types of things. Not a first date. Gives the wrong impression. Women think that you just want to sleep with them. It requires you to go to her house or his house or whatever. Now, if a woman invites you to her house for this type of date, then that's acceptable. But you need to leave this in her hands. You cannot decide, let's have a, a movie night and stay at your house and watch Hulu, Netflix, all the different other subscriptions that you can have and expect a woman to say, yes, I'm gonna come over and do that. It's not gonna happen unless the woman's already known you for a while and she feels comfortable with you. Otherwise, that's out. Somewhere that requires a long drive. I disagree with this one heavily because you may want to drive up the coast with a scenic view and get to know your date. And usually when you're doing this long drive, you actually have somewhere special in mind that's different from any place that you might find locally. So there's a reason for this drive. Now, this is also a good time for you guys to go over like music that you have in common, you know, discuss different things that you want to talk about on the date could be life, kids, um, you know, just any, any elements that you guys have not got to talk about thus far, this allows you the time to do it and you're in a close setting. So it's a great part of a date. And there's restaurants, there's beaches, there's uh, lookout points, there's parks, there's all kinds of different things that you can do that require this drive. I definitely recommend going on a date that has somewhat of a long drive because you have a lot of time to talk and there's, you know, great places usually at the end of that trip. Bowling. Bowling is definitely a date that I would definitely take a woman to. I enjoy bowling. It's fun. It's light. It allows the person to enjoy themselves. You guys get to relax. You don't have to be uptight. You don't have to sit there and like worry about if the person's looking at you a certain way, all of that type of stuff. It allows you to decompress. And bowling can be inexpensive. 
you know, you might pay $10, $15 per person to play an hour game. But most of the time, you don't play just one game. You might play two games. That's 30 something dollars per person. So that's $60. And then that's not including the fact that you're going to probably want drinks from the bar inside the bowling alley and also order food. A lot of these bowling alleys are actually bars and restaurants now, not just a bowling alley like you're thinking that you take the kids and you guys just go play at the family center. And even some of those have the bars and restaurants in there too. Now, the food might not be as good, but if you go to you know something called like Tavern and Bowl or some type of bowling place that is built for adult entertainment, you're gonna have better food. They're gonna have a chef that cooks it and things like that. So bowling dates are definitely a date that I would recommend on a first date because it allows you to break the ice and enjoy your company. Okay, nightclubs. I'm in between on this. More than likely, I would not go on a nightclub date because one, you don't know the person well enough. Two, they don't know you well enough. You're gonna go back and forth um, being in a place where there's other attractive people to look at. So that's gonna put some type of intimidation factor on either party, the male or the female, to you know have to be a certain way, look a certain way, dress a certain way. So I just don't recommend putting that type of stress and high pressure on each other to have to be at your best. And then also you might be competing against other people in this club, especially if you don't know the person that you're taking on a date that well. Hookah bar. So hookah bars are actually a great setting to have conversations. Hookah is not cheap. Each hookah costs anywhere from $30 to $50, depending upon what you add on to the hookah. Also, they serve food and drinks. I almost always, anytime I go to a hookah restaurant or bar, I go in there and spend anywhere from $200 to $300. So that is a date, a normal date. It is something you both can enjoy. If the woman enjoys hookah, you enjoy hookah, why can't you go? Now, if she tells you she doesn't enjoy it, don't take a woman to a hookah lounge. If they're not gonna enjoy the smoke, they don't smoke, or they're not gonna enjoy the food or the drinks there in the atmosphere, it's not somewhere she goes, don't take her. But definitely it's a first date for people that enjoy this type of activity. So saying that that's not a first date, out. Bar for just drinks. Now, there are a lot of bars that are nice bars. So the ambiance of the bar can dictate how that, that actual first date goes. This can be determined by how much time you guys have together. So if you know we're only gonna be able to meet up for an hour, hour and change, drinks might be a good option. Now, if the lady doesn't have anything on her agenda in the later part of her night or have to be at work early in the morning, then yeah, dinner might be on the agenda as well. But drinks is a great way to meet up, allow each other to talk, I wouldn't go to a super noisy bar, so don't go to one of the most popping bars that plays, you know, whatever music at the loudest volume and then expect that to be a date. But if it's more of an intimate setting, a speakeasy bar, any of these types of places are great options. And most of the time, the drinks are gonna be expensive, 25, 30 bucks per drink. So easily you're gonna rack up a bill on this. It's not something cheap that a woman's gonna be like, oh, he only spent $60, oh, he only did this, no. You're gonna spend more than that because most of the time you're drinking at least two, three drinks. You don't usually go, oh, let's have one drink and then say, all right, let's go. Unless there's another activity that's coming after the drink. Waffle House. Personally for me, I'm a breakfast person, so I don't mind Waffle House. Now, a woman may or may not like Waffle House. I'm okay with that. And definitely don't take her to the ratchet ones where you know it's just, it's ghetto, okay? Take the woman to the nicest Waffle House you know if that's what the option is. But Waffle House, Roscoe's, any of those types of places, if a woman loves breakfast, it's an option. If she doesn't love breakfast, definitely don't take her. Just skip that. Sporting events. This is my biggest gripe in this whole entire list that women put together. Now, the only women I can see that do not like this is one, women that don't watch any type of sports. Two, don't have a crush on anybody that plays sports. Or three, just is, you know, a woman that only wants to do shopping and nice fine dining and things like that and that has intentions. Because sporting events are definitely something that are not cheap. Even on teams that are not good in whatever sport that you're watching, minimum tickets you're probably gonna buy is $50 per person. And 
that's not even like the average price that you're gonna spend when it comes to football, basketball, or baseball. Almost every one of those tickets, you're gonna be at least $100 or more. So you can see how easily this date racks up. And then you forget the concessions or drinks. Everybody goes to these games to drink. You know, there are some people that don't drink, but you're going to spend money. This date, on average, I would say someone would spend close to $500. If you're being a little bit budget conscious, still maybe $300. But why is that a problem? Why would you not go to the sporting event unless you just have absolutely no interest in sports? I don't know most women that's gonna say, oh, don't take me to a football game for their favorite team or your favorite team or a baseball game for your favorite team or her favorite team. Basketball, same thing. All of these sports, there's high energy. It's fun, it's light. People enjoy their time. You have drinks, you eat the food. You, you have time to kill. You're, you're having fun for three hours plus. And most women enjoy some type of sport and some type of team. So this being on this list is absolutely asinine. Should never be on the list of don't take to the first dates because most women are gonna disagree with this. They're gonna to wanna to go to a sporting event. So whoever wrote this list, I got a major problem with sporting events, Red Lobster, Cheesecake, and also, you know, the gym and church. Those absolutely should not be on this 28 point list of things that you should not do on a first date. And to let you guys know, I posted this on my Instagram story and almost all the people that responded to my story were women. They were outraged with the fact that there were women that did not like these options on this list that they put together. So let me just read some of the, the feedback I received and then you know provide my comments as to why I agree or disagree with what was said to me. One of the people told me, so where are these Bees trying to go, laughing out loud. I love a good Starbucks date. I think that's a perfect first date. Again, this goes back to my point where I said that women love coffee. And this is a low pressure date. You go, you enjoy each other's company, you see if you have things in common, you see if you wanna have a second date. Why not? Starbucks, that's in there. Coffee date, that's in there. Ice cream date, that's in there. She agrees. And further, I said, women on this list of women that think in this type of mindset, obviously think a man's supposed to take them to Ruth Chris, Javier's, Red O, Mastro's, um, any type of high quality steakhouse or any of these types of places for the first date. Why? Why should we just automatically take you somewhere like that? You haven't shown us enough to do that. Maybe, maybe not. Some women might deserve that and have already shown enough to where the man feels comfortable doing that. But in most cases, we're not gonna know enough about you to go ahead and just say, hey, we're gonna spend $200 just on food, plus not including the drinks or any appetizers or any other things that we decide to do after or before going to the restaurant. Oh, and then this is another part of the response that she said. Cause I said, the date is to get to know the person, not their pockets. Exactly what I was thinking. They take you on the date the first night and they have no furniture. I like authenticity over everything. Social media is wild. Authenticity. We want to see the real person. We don't want to put on airs. We don't want to fake for you guys. We don't want to act like we have so much money or we do this or do that. Even if you have money, sometimes fellas should not just do this off rip because it sets a bad precedent. And then going forward, the woman expects that all restaurants will be of a certain caliber of a certain price. All activities will be of a certain price. It's not a good precedent. Oh, she also said that she sent it to her girls to ask them what they felt about this. And she said they all asked what's the issue with these things that are on this list. Doesn't make sense. It's a lot of things that should not be on this list. And why do we have a list anyways? The data is based on each of the two individuals as to what they like and whether or not they see this as something that they want to do together. If they both agree to go on a date, the list means nothing. Whatever they want to go and do, they're going to do it. So putting a list together is silly. Here's another response. Shoot, I love all of those places. These women are tripping. Take me out. She already saying that every one of the things on the list, she has no problem with any of those dates. That's a, a down-to-earth woman, a real, you know, woman mindset-wise, because 
The thing that you also have to understand going on a first date, if a woman decides to pay for me on the first date, I can tell you right now, that's a way for you to get 10 times, 10 times the amount that you would spend on me on that first date back for me within the next five to 10 dates because I'm gonna go ahead and take care of you because you took the time to take care of me and show me that I'm appreciated and that you actually wanted to be on a date with me. This is just wild, shaking my head. As a woman, I am embarrassed by this. She's embarrassed that women have put together a list of dates that a man should not take you on. And this is coming from a woman's mouth. Why would you think that she would be embarrassed? Because a date should be a date based on what you guys think of each other, what you want to enjoy, what you want to do, not based on, oh, it's Cheesecake Factory. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's a coffee. Oh, it only costs $15. Oh, it's $200. So this is a great date. The great dates for me are the ones that I build the most rapport, the person that I enjoy my time spent with the most, not where they took me or where I went with them. That part's out. So again, you're seeing multiple women say things that counteract this list that was put together on what a man should do on the first day. Another response was, do a podcast, I'll listen. So I decided that I wanted to go ahead and speak on this because I had a lot to say as far as different things that are um, you know, based on these dates. And it's wild because I've had women that are perfectly comfortable with me taking them anywhere I wanna take them. Then there have been other women that are like, oh, so where are you taking me? Like, you're sizing up the caliber of man I am based on where I'm taking you or what I do for you, yeah, that's out. I, I won't be taking you on a second date if I decide to even take you on the first date just to make sure that the vibe I'm getting is the vibe that's really there. Again, there are a lot of women that will be perfectly happy with Cheesecake Factory, Red Lobster, any other of these chain restaurants because the whole purpose of the date is to get to know each other, not spend the money and just be like, oh, he spent money. Yes, it's great. No, wrong. And that's what I said in response to this. Easily, you'll spend over $100 on that date. The audacity of women putting Red Lobster, Bowling Alley, and Sporting Events on this list is crazy to me. And then she said, right, you also need to look at what type of women you're asking out. I know there is so many women out there that would love simple dates. I know that there are so many women out there that would love simple dates. I agree. Now, the problem for us men is we have to weed through the grass and find which women actually enjoy the simple dates. So I feel like it's a millennial problem. I feel like social media made a lot of this possible for women to want to be dated above what their dating range is and expecting that every man can afford a $200 restaurant date or $300, $500, whatever it is. That's not realistic. Yes, you might come across a man that can do those things, but don't expect your next date or your next boyfriend or whoever or your husband to be able to replicate something that somebody did for you. Base it off your energy and the way that you feel with that person when you go on the date. That's the way that you're supposed to date. And here's another response. Oh man, I like the Red Lobster. So many cool bars in Houston. I'd rather go to a game or a sports bar to watch a game and everywhere is in Houston is a long drop. So she debunked a few different things. She said Red Lobster is good. There are a lot of cool bars that she likes to go to. She would rather go to a game or watch a game. And everywhere she goes is a long drive. So that just canceled out majority of the list because she's willing to do all of those things. She wants to enjoy those things. Those are things she likes. So it wouldn't be against a first date rule or law that a person shouldn't take her to these places. So like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your feedback. If you're a woman and you feel different from me or you know you disagree with any of my opinions, feel free to comment. I'll respond. We can have a conversation. If you want to come on and talk to me, I will open up the chats. We could get a, you know, a call going. I would love to go back and forth and discuss difference of opinions and see you know, what you think versus what I think or what the public thinks. All right. Talk to you guys later. That's it for Splash Talk. See you guys on the next one.